Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Pinlow Slice 3 case for the Apple iPhone 4. Now before I kick off this review, a big, big thank you to Mario from SSL Fan for sending me this case. Very, very good of him to send this over. Please do check out his videos, SSL Fan, on YouTube. Now this is claimed to be the world's thinnest case for the iPhone 4. It's available in a variety of colours. You can get blue, black, pink or the white version that I've got here. The website you want to look at is pinlow.com and it's going to cost you $25.95. Very, very nice packaging, sort of a rigid packaging. Nice designs of the packaging and this is claimed to be just 3.5 grams in weight, so an extremely lightweight case. Uh, it's also just 0.35 millimeters thin as well, so their claims that this is the world's thinnest case could well be true. Let me just pop that to one side and we'll see what else we get inside the packaging. We've got a little back portion to this packaging here. Let's open this, and inside here we've got an applicator tool. We've also got a screen protector, which is really nice that they include this sort of thing, and also a microfiber cloth. Now the screen protector I'm not going to put on in this review because I've already got one on my iPhone 4, but this is a two-piece protector. So by that I mean you take one side off, apply it to your iPhone 4, and then you take the other side off and you're left with a really nice finish. This is the applicator just to get rid of any bubbles on that screen protector. So let's pop the package into one side and take a closer look at the Slice 3. Now it feels very, very thin indeed and whilst it's not on the case I just think you should note that there is sort of a curvature to the case as well because it's so thin it doesn't seem to hold its shape by itself. But hopefully once the iPhone 4 is inside the case then it will uh, sort of become a lot straighter. So fitting the case, we're just going to offer it up to this side first with the buttons in and then we're just going to ease the iPhone 4 into the case and it sort of clips into place like so. We've just got to ease this edge up and let's take a look around the various cutouts. Well, on the bottom we've got hardly any protection at all. We've got protection to the edges, that's fair enough, but there's a big, big cutout here, so a big exposed sort of portion of your iPhone 4 so if you did drop it on that bottom edge you might well get some damage there but very easy access to the speaker microphone and the dock connector. Round on this side we've got the Pinlow logo down on the bottom corner here and we've got raised sections so these are actually covered for the volume up and down buttons and another cutout for the silencer switch so that's really easy to gain access to. On to the top we've got a cutout for the headphone socket and mic and also a cutout for the power on off button. On the back of the case we've got a nice cutout here for the camera and the flash and the design here uh, is actually sort of a uh, sort of a silk finish so it feels quite nice in the hand and, and certainly the frosting looks very good indeed so I like the sort of feel, feel and finish to the case. What I'm not so keen on is if you look very carefully here that curvature to the case it means that it does still have a little tiny bit of movement, not sure if my camera is picking up on that, but hopefully with time that will settle down and it will sort of grip firmly onto the sort of the stainless steel band that runs around the circumference of the iPhone 4. Now there's no raised edge to the top, so if you do put your iPhone 4 on a desk there's no protection there at all other than that supplied screen protector. Uh, so no raised lip, as you can see the glass of the iPhone 4 isn't even covered by the Slice 3 case. But that's how they really achieved the extremely light 3.5 gram weight to this one. Uh, if it came up any higher and it had the lip, obviously it would be a, a lot heavier case and also add quite a bit of bulk onto your iPhone 4 as well. So for minimal protection, if you really just want to protect the sides and the back and you're not too worried about the edges of the front glass of your iPhone 4 then the Slice 3 from Pinlow is worth considering. As I say it's going to cost you $25.95 if you're in the US and available in a range of colours. Uh, this is the white sort of frosted version that I've got here. So once again a big thank you to Mario from SSL Fan for sending me this case to review. This has been Dave from Geekanoids. 
please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.